Well, hello, good people. Uh, <clears throat> I wanted to show you guys a video. Uh, it's a video kind of like uh, uh, a guy I like on here. Uh, from T He's got a couple of channels called uh, TNN Raw. Uh, TNN Raw 2 and 3. And, uh, he's, just, he's got a bunch of channels. Uh, go check him out at TNN Raw uh, 1, 2, or 3. <laughs> Uh, he's really good. His name's Tommy Sotomayor. I think that's how he says his name. But, uh, this kind of goes to some of the things he was saying on his video. And this happened about a block and a half from where I live. Um, yeah, black and, uh, and right across the street from where my uh, sister lives. So, it was crazy. I never even heard about this. I didn't know what happened until I seen it on YouTube. <laughs> oh, it's just crazy uh, that shit like this nowadays can happen anywhere. And there's been a couple other things here in town that has happened. They kind of get, you know, held quiet or like that. Uh, well, this wasn't quieted down at all, but that Uber driver that shot on people here. The first person he shot was a half a mile from where I live and then the guy that ran and killed on uh, people on the bikes that happened right down the street from where I'm at right now where I live so it's been kind of crazy around here um, I figured this is something I could talk on I live right here I, I probably even know some of the kids that did this you can't really see who they are in the video but uh, let's go ahead and start watching I guess Uh, I'm not gonna watch the whole video, you know, I'll jump around and stuff like that so we can see. Okay, he stopped his car. Uh, I'm not really sure where he stopped him. Like, no, it doesn't really say I, I'm not really sure, but it looks like someone was gonna get out of the car, but he stopped him. He's arguing with the police right now. And then other people start coming out. And there's like a whole bunch of people. There's like a bunch of kids. I never even realized that. So, uh, I got... I'm going to pause it right there. I got one question. That's it. For this part of the video. Where are their parents? That's a co-op, so it's an apartment complex. It's on a steep hill. And the apartments are like uh, 30 feet from where they're standing. And there's a whole bunch of kids there out here. Like 30 people. 30 kids. I don't want to say people. I mean, they're people, but they're kids. So where the fuck is their guardian, their parent, anybody to grab a hold of them, you know, or... Stop him or something. I mean, this cop was out there by himself with all this craziness. Uh, if he would have shot somebody or something, I mean, he's already getting a bunch of shit for uh, wrestling with this kid. But if he would have shot him, he'd probably have done lost the job and everything else, even though he was dealing with craziness. I'm still arguing with him. Still arguing with him. Looks like he's wrestling with him now. Alright, I'll go back a little bit so you can see that. But from what I've heard, behind, you can't see the camera, but behind the officer, there's a whole bunch of people. And this kid won't put his arms behind his back or anything, so he's fighting with the police right now. Okay, okay, you got other stupid motherfuckers. 
coming up causing problems. I mean, come on, man. What is the point in all this shit? All the dude has to do is put his arms in his back. Now, I've been beat up by the cows before. And my hand broke in my So I know how big an asshole they can be. But I was drunk and acting stupid, so it was my fault. <coughs> He was putting fucking arms behind his back and he's acting like a motherfucking fool. They just broke the windows out of the cop car. What happened? Y'all ain't being too hard on this dude or nothing. He's acting stupid as hell. You can see the glass flying in there. It's crazy. It's like a sand of beans or something. Everybody yelling. It was crazy, man. It was really crazy. You see it? You see it here chasing it. Chasing it. Oh, scary. See if more police get to be scary. I'm glad my son don't really miss me this whole day. And I got the motherfucking right to speak. I've been through so much shit around here. Look. This, you know, I'm living right now in my grandma's house. You know, I hope to take care of her. She has been here for almost 60 years. Or anybody else on this block. Well, I'll tell you about it in a second. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hello again, good people. <clears throat> I just want to say something real quick. I started doing these videos, which I just started doing, to try and bridge a gap, trying to wake somebody up, just anything. From a, a 
more well, that's a white guy's perspective, I guess, is the best way to explain it. I, I, I just, I don't want to hate in the world. My kid has to grow up in this world. If I didn't know this world is as fucked up as it really is, I, I would have never even, even thought about having a kid. But, uh, it's just crazy. The world is a nutty place. So, they, we just need love. That's the only thing that's going to solve this world. Not even necessarily love. Respect. So once again, uh, they basically, they call me Loopy Bardo, you know, basically that's what they call me. Um, you guys take care of yourselves, alright? Restrain yourselves a little bit, everybody, including myself. Uh, be good, and I love you guys.